So if Rona's back at work, why is Vanessa not skiving with me house hunting? And where's that thing gone? What thing? You know, the burping, farting thing that likes to call itself his dad. Consider him no longer here. You're kidding, I really liked him. Hey, you've done now but complain. Yeah, but then I came round and he was going to babysit Moses later. And now he's not, because you've scuppered it yourself, little pair. If he goes for good, that'll be it. And there were times with him when you looked pleased as punch. Just playing along. Well, I think we might have overreacted. You lied. Because he's poor. And that's why he lied about his arm and he needed a place to stay. Just think about it, Paddy. You said it was on the desk up there. I don't even remember signing a school form. Right, well, keep on looking. If I skive off hockey later, we could meet at the pavilion. Mm, Daffle coat's on. Or not. Oh, sorry I'm late. Has your dad got any tights? Yeah, but none that he wears in public. Very funny, Jacob. No, sorry, Jesse, we've sold out. Oh, well, I can't have ladders in front of kids. Far too many joke possibilities. We we'll have to go to the garage. Found it. Oh, yeah, it hasn't been signed. You are a forgetful pain. Any chance of a lift, miss? There'll be two of you in the car, so no safeguarding issues. In your dreams. Oh, don't forget, by the way, we've got that strategy meeting with Bill after work. So if I were you, I'd grab a sandwich. Last time we were starving. Oh, I forgot. I can't come. Really? <laughs> You're going to have to. It's been in the diary for months. What have you come back for? She'll think you're worried. Well, I am. But it's only been five weeks since the op. Trust me, if she does too much when I'm out, I've shown Belle how to use a tranquilizer gun. Ah, look at the worried parents. It's not my first day at school, you know. Good, because you told me you wet yourself. Mm. I left my phone behind. Yeah, of course you did. I need this, Pete, and I am raring to go. Brilliant news. I've got a lovely light duty in mind, and they've asked for you specially as it happens. Wait, this is... This is not Ringo's anal glands, is it? Just a little squeeze, you know you want to. Yeah, so you cow! It's your turn! So, uh, I hope you've reported this. The police are coming later. I insisted. I feel such a fool getting caught off guard. They must have seen me put the charity money in my bag and then just bounced. Utter swines. Where's Dawn? I thought she'd be here fussing over you. You think it was a woman? No. Well, it was too quick, I can't say. I know what some people are thinking, though, and they're wrong. I'll leave you to it. Dawn didn't come home last night. Mm. I heard you got a sack from the factory. Oh. Maybe it's just another thing in a long list of things that haven't worked out. You feel used, mm. I get that, but... Morning. Talking about you. Where were you last night? The B&B. Though how I'm going to pay for it is anyone's guess. You actually want me to give you money? No, God, no. I just came to say sorry. For putting me up, I'm going to buy you a coffee. Um, I thought you needed all your spare money for your son. And you need yours for a new settee. My back's killing. Well, you could have called him with me. Yeah, your mum would have loved that. She thinks he'll go it. So how come my yokes were hard and your yokes were runny? Don't be embarrassed. I've sacked loads of people that I live besides. Well, I might not be living here much longer. Stop showing off. You're supposed to be my mate. You can do your own shopping. It takes the bravest of people to challenge their friends. You paraphrasing Harry Potter again, Dad. <laughs> Those books are like my Bible. You know, even with Dawn's lying and vandal tendencies, I'd rather have her over Aisha any day. Although I'm not allowed to say that. New stepsister running rings round you, Aisha. Mm. He's just jealous because he's not the centre of attention. To celebrate our marriage, we're having a lovely party tomorrow. No, they're having, you're paying. I can hear you. I'm far too happy. 
So, that's music and decorations all sorted. Oh, I'm just thrilled we got a cancellation at home farm. Oh, yes, you owe me. I had to break a bride's legs. <laughs> hey, are you sure that your father's OK with the uh, higher cost? Oh, don't worry. We'll uh, find savings in other areas. Will we be able to park around the bedrooms? There you go. Uh, yeah, you better get back to work with those, otherwise I'll torture you. OK, but if I can't go upstairs, we'd better still be having the chocolate fountain. See ya. They're so, um... Oh, no. Unhygienic. Oh. Well, I was going to say common. And I bet you spent a fortune on her education and all. Such a waste. Mm. If you tell me she's doing the catering, I'll kill us both. Uh, well, don't do that, otherwise we'll have to cancel. Um, the thing is, the caters we used before are, um... Perfect. Apart from your boss toppling off the balcony, the food was the best thing about that party. They're already booked. I mean, like you said, it was short notice. And I was thinking we could go for something, um, less showy. Right. Well, uh, knock up a few hundred margies, then. <laughs> <laughs> Lifesaver. 60. How do you even have this much change? Tax evasion. No, and Eric, he's going to miss bear mind. I think there's an elderly bromance brewing there. Well, he's not stopping with you tonight. No, he's heading back to Ireland for work, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. It just... it wasn't confirmed when he last mentioned it. Anyway, I said he could have a late check-out. And he's had Eric in a headlock ever since. What a hoot. She need to know about how yet. Just don't get involved. Don't the mate. Yeah, and you should keep it that way. No hanky-panky. That's not me getting involved, by the way, and interfering. That's just me saying. Oh! oh finally! Are you OK to do this in here? Yeah, it's fine. Sit yourself down. Who have you upset now? I'm trying to persuade Pearl that this is a one-off and could have happened to anyone. <laughs> oh, don't you start. Well, he'll find out soon enough. She had some trouble yesterday. How many more times? This has got nothing to do with Dawn. Well, why don't we start at the beginning? <sighs> Come on, Eric, surprise me. Can help him out, Diane, before he bursts someone. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Come, 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 come. Oh, he... Yeah. <coughs> You're a freak of nature. That grandbabby's gonna love you chucking it around everywhere. <laughs> when did you say you're coming back? I better start going to the gym. <laughs> Soon, I'm sure. Have you settled up yet? Go. Oh, I'll do the bell. <laughs> Loser! <laughs> Come on, that's the three. He's weakened, Eric. Let's finish him. <sighs> Stressy lumps in your back. Oh, I've never stopped. Well, you wouldn't think so, so look at the appointment book. <laughs> we should set up massages as a sideline. Huh? Hey, she found this one loitering at the window. Should you be doing that? Uh, you can back off, Peaks. It's my turn next, so don't jump the queue. Right, I need to get going. Ah, oh, why the long face, Dobbin? I was thinking more about you, always stretching yourself. Really? I'd never have guessed. Can we just see each other at tea time? Because you are really beginning to do my head in. Fine. No, Pete, wait. I know where I'm not wanted. Why'd you let me speak to him like that? He was only trying his best. Am I horrible? I'm horrible, am I? Send the nasty one back, in there. Right. Not much veterinary work to do, but loads of admin, so crack on. Hey. How are things with your dad? Sorry, terrible liar. Chaz just called. Diane's told her that your dad's leaving today. Tea, yeah? No arguments. Hi. Harriet, your face. Who would do... So, sorry, is this official? You're fine. We were talking about Dawn. Do they think it's Dawn because you got sacked? Yes. No! Stop it, Pearl, for heaven's sake. You think it's to do with her? Where's the fire? It's halfway to hot when I got your text. Oh, my God! Oh, I'm OK. Who's done this? Dawn. What? Sit down, please. I need to ask you a couple of questions.
So it's the first you knew of this when you walked in? I was angry yesterday, but I would never lay a finger on her. You're assuming Harriet's been assaulted. She could have fallen. Well, you wouldn't be here if she tripped over a step, would you? I can't fault your logic. Do they all think it's me? I don't. Where were you at seven o'clock last night? I'm so sorry about this, about losing you, you It's OK. Don't get upset, Harriet. I was watching TV with him and his mum. I've never seen a woman eat so many nuts. Was it one or two? Did you see? Whoever it was, I'm going to kill him. Uh, you never said that. Are you OK, Pearl? Oh, I'm fine now, thank you, dear. And when I first met him, he was like this dynamic man-mountain, and, and I'm really trying to get on board with all that. But finding out... finding out he lied... Nothing's like I thought it'd be. So he vaped. He's human. I've got a baby coming. If it doesn't go right this time, I think I'll just die. It will be fine. I... And I don't think I'm ready for another big thing. You know, like my dad turning up that I hardly know. Well, you're part of this big family now. You know, they'll take the strain. Yes, and they are very often an absolute nightmare. You can tell Chaz I said that, I just deny it. Yeah, I found them pretty oppressive when I first got with Marlon. It's completely different for you, though. You're a massive snob. <laughs> I don't know who Bear is. I don't know what he wants. Well, he wants what we all want. He wants to be loved. Sorry. You're still talking about me. I'm scared that Pete's going to go off me. What? Don't be daft, cos you've had a hysterectomy. Oh, I hate that word. He's a man, he's a bloke. You could probably chop both your arms off, he still wouldn't notice. He treats me like I'm an old lady. No, he's just projecting now. He thinks you're very hot, and that's not just the menopause. In fact, I'm going to ring him now. No! You are exactly the same person he fell for. You are clever. You're a bit nitpicky, but you're gorgeous. Yes, Belle? Yeah, the kitten with its head in a tin is here. I'll deal with this. We'll just start crying again. No, no. Thanks for the chat, OK? But um, I'm not going to be your handy excuse. Your dad might be gone in a few hours, so don't leave it like this. What's the point of organising a do and then getting all weird about the money? I've been scrutinised, like I'm being questioned and spied on. And I know you told Priya to go cheap on the catering. No one's spying on you. Really? Hmm. Not you. Uh, well, I am with her. Priya, I didn't make a fuss in the cafe because I know you were only doing what your father asked. Thanks. That's not true. It is. You know, it's not a crime to worry about money. It is, when it wrecks fun. Wow. The apple didn't fall far. I never understand what he's saying. Just ignore me. Everyone else does. But I am sorry if you feel got at. Hmm. Well, thank you for acknowledging my feelings. It's not like you, Jay. In light of all this upset, why don't we just cancel the do? Ah, uh, now that is like you. Uh, after yesterday's unpleasantness and today's misunderstanding, we need a family gathering more than ever. No expense spared on the catering. We'll eat when Maya gets here. Um, she might be ages. And we'll eat when I say so. You're getting right cocky, you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The silver bat feels the pressure, eh? <laughs> I could take you any day of the week. If it were a cuddle fight, <laughs> come here! <laughs> oh. Get off. <laughs> yeah, let's wait for Maya. I'm certainly no silver back, am I? Yeah, you're barely a humpback. <laughs> Thank God you're smiling. I was beginning to think it was you and David. What? Well, you've been distracted for weeks. There's been some comments in this staff room. Hey. Uh, menu, Jesse? Uh, no time. I'll be in the quiet corner of the education act. <laughs> Drink? Mm, yes, please. What? Nothing. What? Shut up. Jesse watching. Just that normal. You are lovely, but you were right to back off. Rona's fine. 
Yeah, well, she won't be if I get her a rubbish birthday present for tomorrow. Best present you could give her would be to listen to a complaint about me and Paddy while rubbing her feet. She couldn't be wrong, her. Mm. What do you think you're doing? Well, quick, before Eric sees. He calls me butterfingers as it is. Do animals drop things a lot, Paddy? Uh, snakes, not so much, no. Well, not bad for you. Bear's funny, I mind. You thought I were a thief? No, I didn't. I did think about it, so there. You are the better man. So you had a chance to consider things, and you're scared I'll be a bother. I'd be the same in your shoes. I'm mortified even looking at you. Getting to my age, all that work and note to show for it. I wish you'd been more honest about your situation. What, and beg? No. I've still got some pride. It's dented, but it's there. I've never really been that honest about my feelings, unless it's dragged out of me. Birds of a feather. Don't be hard on yourself. You're a perfectly nice lad. When you look at me, do you see a failure? No. Not even a little bit. Right. Good. I'll hold on to that. This trip's been a success after all. Good luck, son. Or... Or we could keep talking. Just see. Have a think, though. Has anyone been in touch from the old days? Harriet, I'll go, if you want me to. No, the opposite. I want you here with me. How much money got taken? From the charity collection, about 50. It'll be exactly as I thought, some desperate one-off. I just thought it was worth asking. So, have you been looking for any jobs yet? Give us a chance. I was only given the push yesterday. Please let me talk to Jay. Oh, no, I... He was dead casual with me, in the shop. And I hear he likes a hopeless cause, so... <laughs> You're not hopeless. She really is. <laughs> I'm a big girl. I can make a mess and sort it out. Watch me. Well, I mean, there's bound to be summer work on the farms. I mean, you can put in a word. I mean, somebody might need a cow lifter. <laughs> <laughs> Good. You're back. Thanks for telling Rona. Was she subtle? No, of course not. <laughs> but we're talking. Yeah, I'm only staying till I'm fixed up. Oh, no, stay as long as you like. Uh, it, she doesn't mean that. She means stay until you're fixed up. We've agreed to be honest from now on. Hurrah! Straight talking. Not as straight talking as honest as you, though, please. I'll leave you to get settled in. Mm. There we are, then. Tipping point. Not yet, no. In a couple of weeks, it's a bit of a hazard for the children, that. No, 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 no. On the telly! I knew it was a joke. <laughs> Charity, so these are the three they've selected for me at Tiller's. Hmm? I'm popping in first thing tomorrow to try them on. Tiller's, I love that place. I used to shop there when I was rich. Mm. Nothing says elitist like a buzzer on the door, eh? <laughs> so which one do you think? Uh, you get out. You on the floor. You shall go to the ball. Really? <laughs> Get all three, say how you feel tomorrow. You'll need a matching handbag, though. You can't let your family down with something that's already been seen. Mm. Read my mind. <laughs> Just simple, beautiful things are what's required here, Pete. <sighs> Enough about you, David. <laughs> Actually, I was going to ask you, do you think I'm ageing well? Because I think I might have peaked. Oh, you've definitely peaked, mate. Hey! I, I think it's 22 for blokes. What? Oh, brilliant. You've just ruined what's left in my life. Uh, for women? I mean, 40s. Why is the world so mean to men? Yeah, what do you think of this one? Yeah, 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 that's brilliant if you're looking to get dumped. Next time we get a chance to be together and she snaps her fingers, just say no. You look all old when you frown like that. What's tripping his face up? Dead to mention homework. Ah, uh, see, she says the hard stuff, and I look brilliant. Yeah, 
I won't give. <laughs> Bear's bill. Although, duck's bill would have been funnier. <laughs> yeah, he uh, forgot to settle before he left. We're thrilled he's not heading off. Eric needs a new friend in case Rodney dies. Wow. Bed and three breakfasts. Yeah, uh, cash. We'll be fine. Oh. Uh, absolutely no chance, lady. Your purse will pad his pockets. I mean, I like the guy, but no way am I going Dutch on a human money pit. So, um, what exactly were they saying? Just general stuff about performance, but if a concern's raised, there has to be a meeting. Pearl? We've unmissable brand new drama starting tonight at 9 on ITV. She's lost until he's found. Kate Beckinsdale stars in The Widow. And if you missed last night's episode of our critically acclaimed drama Victoria, you can catch up with the series so far on ITV Hub. Next, it's Coronation Street.